We took a one and a half hour train ride from Cordoba to Sevilla, and now are at what we think are going to be our best digs of this trip. It is an apartment on the top floor of an old building in the old city. Our patio has a view of Middle Eastern looking house tops and Sevilla's cathedral tower called La Giralda. The colors of Sevilla take up several patches in Spain's quilt and the Moorish and Gothic styles converge in the city architecture. So, so far, we think this is the best hotel, actually it's an apartment that we had Below us are sidewalk restaurants and shops. People are milling in the streets and the shop owners are trying to entice them to buy their wares and eat their food. We hear happy noises well into the night. Next day, we are in Real Alcazar, one of Spanish King's residences. It is actually several palaces and a beautiful garden within the high fort type walls built in a Mudejar style. We are told that the current Spanish king does not like to visit Sevilla's palace. His loss. It is fantastic. And here is the garden. La Giralda, which we see from our apartment patio, is the 12th century minaret converted into a bell tower with a 13 feet statue on top. This bell tower is a part of a very large cathedral. And here is Christopher Columbus's final resting place. Sevilla's Maria Luisa Park has a very large ornate Plaza de España. The plaza houses murals for every part of Spain and Maria finds one for the home of her youth, the Canary Islands. Walking the city, we catch street flamenco in the heat at the edge of the park. It 
It is 100 in the shade. We drink water like sponges. Ice cream parlors are doing brisk business with their doors open to the sidewalks. God knows how they keep their ice cream cold, and the restaurants are spraying cold mist on their patrons.